Hey everyone, this is Chris, your friendly neighborhood Minnesota comic geek, here with a hopefully entertaining video. We'll see. Uh, I'm still in the process of moving, so again, no access to my collection as they're all packed up and in storage right now. So I thought I'd kind of do a just random comic book thoughts type video. And yeah, so before I get started, uh, I'd ask that if you enjoy this type of comic book related content, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you enjoy talking comics, then comment below. All right, let's get into it. Uh, so first off, apologize for the sound. If you hear the echo, I'm in a pretty empty living room apartment right now. So again, apologize, apologies for that. Hopefully you can bear with it. Hopefully it isn't too bad. The second thing is I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos to this point, who's subscribed, who's been leaving comments. I truly enjoy reading them, responding to them, and just like just the thought-provoking nature of some of your questions or again some of your comments and what you guys have to say. I love it. Thank you for taking the time to do so. I uh, apologize for uh, some of the delay in my responses. Again, I've been little busy with getting ready to move and everything so hopefully I will try to be better about responding more timely. The goal of this video again like I said is just random comic thoughts that I have had or you know just again thought about. I believe on my video about my Minnesota Comics Exchange Valley Creek Mall Hall where I talked about the kind of full runs of some some book titles that I picked up there. Uh, someone commented about run packs not being able to like you're not like it's hard to find full runs of titles because either there's key issues in in the run that have already been picked out and bought or even if there's not key issues, there's certain issues that comic book shop owners or just people in general might still pick out and buy. Like, for instance, a number one issue. It might not have key significance, but it's still a first issue or a last issue in a, in a run. You know, those things happen. I am sure it's like every one of us has been searching for... Uh, or likes a comic book title more than just the key issues, likes just the character, the title, the artists, creative teams, whatever, and you want to get the full run of issues. And inevitably, there's going to be harder to find issues than others. And this commenter brought up run, run packs in comic shops, and it got me thinking... Well, first off, are you guys run pack buyers when you go to a comic shop? Like you see a, a full run of issues. Do you buy that? Are you willing to buy that run pack knowing that you're going to get the full run, but it probably has a slightly premium price on that pack? And one of the local comic shops here in Minnesota that I frequent you know, every so often, they have a a run pack of Battle Chasers from the prelude to issue 9, I believe. Like, the full original run of 10 issues. And they have a $100 price tag on it. It's, you know, cost basis is approximately $10 an issue. To me, that's a little little too high for for me even though I love Joe Matarera I loved Battle Chasers I have all those issues I'm 
not opposed to buying duplicates. I buy them all the time, but they're just not outside of issues. Issue number one, really, the rest really aren't that valuable. Like they are one dollar to two dollar bin books at best. Like, uh, unfortunately, I think they should be worth more. They, I like, I love them. They are fantastic books, but just they're just not considered that valuable outside of issue one. Like that's kind of the prime example of the my run pack issue is that they are often slightly overpriced um even even if you really want that run pack getting to kind of the my core thought behind run packs is that are are run packs in comic shops a sneaky way for comic shops to unload inventory beyond the key books in that run you know it's really easy to like sell and unload key issue books people collectors comic buyers are always looking for them those are the ones that are the most sought after they're the easiest to sell you don't have to work to do it it's the filler issues that sit in comic shop back issue long boxes for years that go often unsold they end up over time in the one dollar fifty cent bins and so i got to thinking like is it just a um, a sneaky way for or clever way really for comic shops to get rid of unsold inventory what do you think uh am i on to something am i just grasping that straws here what do you think the reason i like me personally, I I have never bought a run pack at a comic shop. And that's because they often are fully taped and bound together. So you can't, you can only see the front issue and the back issue. You can't, you can't see all the other issues in the run and the condition those books are in. So you are trusting that they're in decent condition, especially if it's priced high, like that Battle Chasers run. I wouldn't buy that run because, A, again, it's too high price for me, and I can't tell what condition the books are in. So I just don't buy them, you know. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think? Do you have different reasons for buying run packs or not buying run packs if you were inclined to buy a run pack before after listening to this topic are you less inclined or more inclined um yeah let me know your thoughts um again this is just a random random comic thought i had uh the other day trying to put out something entertaining hopefully um just to yeah generate hopefully a discussion on the the topic you know am i missing something on run packs are they like the secret gem of the comic shop that i'm overlooking or what with that i will end this this video uh thanks for watching and again if you enjoyed this type of comic book related content please give the video a thumbs up hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel Till next time, comment below and let's talk comics. Bye.